Hey guys, make sure to check out G2A.com. A link is in the description below. They have really cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's X-Ray. So welcome back to another episode of Zombie Labs. Now, if you guys missed the first episode, we talked about how much nuclear power it would take to blow up the moon. And uh, that was a really interesting video. You guys really supported the hell out of that video. And if you guys missed it, you guys can check out that video. I will link it down below. I have a card annotation on screen. It was really, really cool. And you guys seem to have really enjoyed it. You guys were asking about the earth and what would happen. How much would it take to blow it up? I'll talk about that in a future episode, but today we're going to continue on from the last episode. So we've already destroyed the moon but what happens to the earth after you destroy the moon what's going to happen to the earth now obviously the changes are going to be different in the zombie universe obviously there might not be drastic changes you might see some of these changes and i'm thinking very very heavily that we are going to see some of these changes and i'll talk about that again in another future video where i'm talking about possible future dlcs be as a direct result of the moon being destroyed but as of right now let's find out what would happen to the earth if the moon was destroyed if you guys enjoy the video make sure to leave a like leave a favorite it is very much appreciated let's go ahead and jump into the information now obviously the moon is a really really important part of the earth i mean it, it is super important if it was destroyed let's say if the moon was hit by a massive asteroid or in this case we just nuked the hell out of it like we did in der eisentraha what would be the outcome if it was just split into several fragments the different parts would more than likely just rejoin together so if they were like big fragments they'd probably just gravitate together and maybe do most of the functions that the moon normally does but when we saw Dres and Draha, it looked like it was more than just little chunks it looked to the point where maybe some of that is going to come back and hit the earth and that's exactly what some of the outcomes are going to be for starters thousands of moon rocks would rain down on earth destroying population and even countries not only would massive chunks of the moon bombard us, but we would also have less protection. Although it's the only relatively small, the moon acts like a blockade protecting us against the pesky space rockets that are determined to kill us all. So the moon is essentially kind of our, like our first line of defense, honestly, or our last line of defense, if you really want to call it that. Nonetheless, if asteroids do not kill us, the natural demise of the Earth without its companion will. So the moon actually acts as something of a balancer for the Earth. Without it, the moon would begin to wobble massively our planet already sways slightly budging from the angle of 22 to 25 degrees but without our little lunar buddy this swing would go from 0 to 85 degrees so normally it's a three degree difference that it can change between but this time it would go from anywhere from 0 to 85 degrees the effects it would have on our season is almost unfathomable as we would have to deal with winters and summers of epic proportions it could also throw us off our axis meaning that at points will be closer to the sun resulting in overheating and death and at other times will be too far away resulting in extreme colds and death very very bleak now without the moon the tides would be out of whack and technically while things would be a little bit more calm and a lot more serene it starts doing damage in that a lot of the earth would actually be covered in water because there isn't that pull from the moon that's kind of pulling the water up a little bit and because of that since it all comes back down and it's a lot calmer the actual sea level would start to rise because there isn't that pull that the moon normally does now because of this calmer water it would cause the water to fill to move vital nutrients around its vast body which will ultimately have a devastating effect on the water's dwelling animals with thousands of species eventually going extinct however we can have one cherry on top though and that would be that it would take years for all these animals to go extinct which we'd probably be extinct with them in that case so that's what basically would happen to the earth if the moon was blown up or destroyed we'd be bombarded with asteroids we would be hit by the crumbling pieces of the moon our climate would drastically change as we would not have that degree of wobble that we normally have from 22 to 25 we would have scorching hot temperatures and extremely cold temperatures because our axes would be thrown off completely and we would see a massive tidal wave that would destroy a lot of people and also cause extinction even in the water so that is essentially what would happen if the moon was destroyed and uh so we'll definitely see what effects it actually has on the zombie universe i think more than likely we're just going to see a, a rise in sea level maybe have like an underwater map in a future dlc that'd be pretty cool so we'll definitely see what happens with that but now you guys know what would be the environmental effects or just what would happen to us if the moon was completely destroyed so anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and a favorite it does get the content out there and it is very much appreciated if you aren't if you want to see more videos like this in the future i do a lot of call of duty zombie content a lot of in-depth stuff and this series is going to continue
continue on so make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss those videos in the future if you guys want to keep talking zombies or anything really if you have any other questions about zombies and more research and stuff like that make sure to tell me on twitter go ahead and follow me over there and last but not least if you guys want to feel free to use my discount code OGXRays to get 10% off control freak and g fuel links down below i'm out peace